Since the start of my adventure on Doodle World, I've never ventured alone. The doodles I've teamed up with along the way have carried me to where I am now. Throughout my Doodle World adventure, various doodles have traveled with me to help me out, and whether they survive or not is totally up to me. We've lost some real ones on the way. We've been through tough tamers and difficult routes, but what we experience today can't even be compared to what we've already seen. Today, we fight the bloodiest of battles, the toughest of tamers, and the trickiest of puzzles in order to obtain our first key. This is the continuation of my Doodle World adventure. Since it's been a month since the last time I've played Doodle World, I took some time to heal in the Doodle Lab of Graphite Lodge. Basically, I've kept Cassidy and TJ waiting for a whole month, but that's no problem. After showing up to the health center, I'm able to accept my first request from Alice who needs some backup behind the Doodle Lab, or Doodle Station. I like calling it a lab better, so that's what I'm sticking to. Anyways, I finally showed up after exploring a bit since this wasn't very high in my list of priorities. After I showed up though, she immediately backed out of the fight, so I was on my own for this 2v1. Bro, what is that shrug animation? Okay, yeah, let's take these guys on. After destroying those dudes, we had to meet up with the big boss, Carson. Snowbat. Oh, what? That's weak to this? It does, like, no damage. Oh my gosh! Reggie, you're overpowered. You're too strong. We'd like to see that level up with Roy and Draco. We lit. I keep thinking that's a real Pokemon, because it is. Alright, one more shot. Is Reggie seriously going to solo this whole battle? I mean, he's used to it. Agitoad, that should be weak. To Reggie? Never mind, I don't know. Fireball? This thing's fire? What's fire weak to? Do I have any of that? I mean, you're water, right? Capsize. Alright, let's switch up then. Alright, not too bad. Lower speed? No accuracy, okay. That's kind of annoying. Capsize. One hit KO, get out of here. Yes, Roy, keep leveling up. What? Pillow coming in clutch right now. And that's game. Get out of here. Hey, I didn't get paid as much for winning this one. That was her snowbat. We were battling her, her doodle. That's so funny. What the heck? After claiming my rewards at the help center, I get this chain thing that helps me chain doodles for higher odds of a misprint. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it very often since I'm not that big of a hunter, at least not in doodle world, but I guess we'll see. Shortly after that, I decided to take the request from someone named Jack for a doodle battle. He claims that he's really good at doodle battling or something, so of course we need to check for ourselves to see if he's capping or not. Alright, this is where... He should be kind of close to the gate. Wait, there's a chest here? How did I miss this? Let's see what we get. Power jelly. Pretty sure that's a rare candy. Uh, he should be right here in front of this tree. Yes. Yes, here he is. I've been waiting forever for a sparring partner. I don't want to boast or anything, but I'm pretty tough. Are you prepared to fight me? Yes, we are. Let's see it. First up, we have Reggie versus Party Bug. Since Reggie has the level and type advantage, you'd think this would be an easy sweep, but Jack proves me wrong since it actually took more than just one click. After Party Bug, he sends out a Kawosu, which is a pretty easy two shot. After he sends out Blossophon, I switch out to Draco for the type advantage. This thing immediately throws down a leaf sap on my team, and when I go for the jet strike, its pollen armor activates and puts Draco to sleep. It then sets up entangling vines, whatever those are. Since Draco was fast asleep, I decided to switch out to Cena. Looking back, this was kind of a dumb move, but it is what it is. After Cena was almost fully taken out without Blastfall taking any damage, I decided to hand things over to Toad to see if he could magically pull something off.
And just like that, Roy barely carried us out of a huge problem I signed us up for. What a chat. Anyways, after that whole situation, I decided to take a break from the help center and meet the mayor in his house. Upon showing up, Cassidy bursts in with a new problem on our hands. Let's first go through the crossroads gate, which is north of here. I'll tell the crossroads guard to let you through. What? Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go. I wonder if I can just do a help center request in between all of this. After showing up to the crossroads, I quickly cleaned up some of the trainers that were there. Dude, why is this place so sad? I really like these route designs. What is this guy? There's mounts in this game? Okay, wait, that's really cool. After messing around with some of the trainers in the crossroads, I finally met up with Cassidy in front of this huge door that seemed to go into this cave. Who are you? Why isn't this working? I have the opal orb, where is Melzeri? Oh, that's the bad guy. Nobody should have the power of Melzeri. Oh look, it's the princess you're doing. Okay. Purchase it for cheap from the Okay, that it's not real then. As soon as that happens, I will capture with this gold capsule. Not oh he stole it from the store. Of course he stole it. We should have Alright, looks like he's just we just don't understand his motives right now. You're despicable, Craig. <laughs> no, you will not. This girl is capping right here. Wait, what? Where are we? This looks really cool. I like what I'm seeing right now. Oh, look at that. Are there any new lumens? What is this? Is this water? I can't see. My brightness is not high enough. Look at this! I'm in the water, what? <laughs> what is this? Wait, oh, it's a trainer. I thought I couldn't encounter this. What is going on? Oh, wait, Wild Doodles is down here? Christic. What? Okay, this is cool. All right, we are back on our grind. After some exploring, I remembered that I had to stop Craig and continue my mission. Yes. What? Wait, the shinobi girl wearing a mask was the one that sold him the, the rock. That's Malzuri. What? No, this is bad. It's charging up something. Watch out. He changed him into an opal orb. He talks. <laughs> Doodles can talk! No, TJ, you're the last person I trust with the Opal Orb. Why am I doing this? Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying! I didn't even read the text, bro! So after we defeated Craig, witnessed a talking doodle, and finally saw TJ, we decided to dip out of the cave with the Opal Orb to see what it does or something. I can't exactly remember. Oh no, it's her again! He comes, he'll be on my way now. Who is that? Back to the sad music, okay. Oh my gosh. TJ. TJ, go get it. Where am I? Oh, I'm over here. Shoot. 
After being the last to show up back to the mayor's house, I walk into Cassidy regretting giving the orb to TJ. Since we don't really know enough about this orb, we don't think it should be that important. Not yet, at least. Since we didn't have the orb anymore, there seemed to be only one thing that we could do. Get our first key. In order to get the first key, we needed to get permission from the mayor and pass his trial of beating Cassidy in a doodle battle. Cassidy isn't that much of a noteworthy battle since we've been through tougher tamers, but since we were able to win, we obtain access to the Graphite Forest. On our way in, we run into Portia. This game has a sense of humor, I respect that. Two hours later, we straight up waited here for two hours. Luckily, I was able to pull off a win, so this Graphite Forest, huh? Hopefully there's no more distractions, we're going to finally be able to gain the key and stop the thunderstorm. Oh my gosh, Porsche, get out of here. It, you're the only character without a theme song, TJ. That is so funny. This game throws shade on TJ, it's hilarious. Alright, let's go in. Alright, we got like a bridge here. Dude, whoa. Wait, what's over here? Wait, there's a chest up there. Wait, how do I get up there? I really like this rad design. This is so cool. Gotta do parkour. Not gonna lie, I didn't really like how you could jump at first, but now I'm kind of a fan. This game has changed my mind. Pristine axe. <gasps> That's probably a held item right there. These are- this, is, this game's really cool. I, I have to give it props, like... If only the first town in the game was like exactly like this, that would have been amazing. Upon showing up to Graphite Forest, this instantly became my favorite route in the whole game. So far at least. I believe that this should have been the starter town in the game. I literally can't get over how amazing this route is. It has hidden treasure on rocks and hills showing off the ability to jump in this game. It also has a ton of winding paths for you to take that all lead to different locations. This is literally the best rat design I've ever seen. Just take a look, a, a glance at this huge route. Why does it look so good? It's huge too, like... I did a ton of exploring in this area because of its expansive design twist compared to the previous routes I've been through. Since I spent a pretty hefty amount of time here, I'm just gonna sum up any noteworthy things that happened. I was able to catch a few doodles here, but the most important out of the bunch had to have been Fawn Sprout. After my doodle battle with Jack, I realized how useful this doodle would be. I sent it to the box just in case I would need to swap out any of my party members in the future. Oh yeah, I also found this axe in a chest that was just laying inside of this waterfall. I picked it up just in case I would need it for later. Like I brought up earlier, I also had to do some exploring. Eventually, I bump into Portia and TJ just kind of sitting at this huge wooden door. TJ lets me know that the axe I have would be helpful in tearing the door down, so I go for it. Until this bodybuilder shows up and tells me not to. Apparently, his ancestors or something built the door as protection, and the bodybuilder lifts it up for anybody who passes through, and this kind of serves as an exercise for him. After showing up in the forest maze, our trial begins. This puzzle goes to show how low my IQ really is. I have such a hard time figuring out what these stupid buttons do and I didn't realize that it was just kind of a straight path. I definitely overthought the difficulty of this puzzle and I thought that the bottom floor of the maze was going to be more important than it was in order to solve it. This took way longer than it should have, but eventually I found out how to do it and I made it to the end. Yeah, this is- I knew it, I knew it. We had to get to the teleporter. 
Hey, can I ask you something? We've been traveling together for quite some time now. Uh, I'm gonna go on ahead. Of course, I can't go two seconds without a doodle battle, though. For some reason, TJ challenges me to a doodle battle, literally right before we get to the key challenge. Wait, he's giving up on the key? What just happened? Uh, why is it replaying this scene? What? <laughs> this isn't supposed to happen. Um. Wait, my team's fine. Like, nothing happened. I'm so confused. Am I supposed to lose? So after battling TJ twice, I go through the teleporter with a weakened team in hopes that I'll be able to heal up before the key challenge. After going through the teleporter, me and Porsche bump into Quincy who is complaining about not being able to retrieve the key since he just kind of flew up to the island instead of completing the trial. Eventually, this wizard dude notices me and Porsche just kind of watching this go down and he tells us to go over there. Alright, he's dead. Unless I miss, but I don't think I will. Get out of here, Quincy! 10,000! Oh my gosh! Welcome, Challenger. To be frank with you, you're my first ever Challenger! What? Alright, let's see it then, I guess. gonna be a 1v1 probably. No, oh my gosh, Roy is always like the last one. You don't see that coming in clutch with 1 HP? I should get him up to like 60. And then we can get that clean switch and use Crystal Dust. Yes, okay, that's really good. Uh, oh, okay, yes, we're fine. Yes, let's go, oh, that's game. GG's. Congratulations. Yes, we got the thunderstorm key. Let's go. Finally, we got the stupid key. That took forever. Get off the temple now. What's going on? It's coming. Whoa. No matter. Who is this guy? Kronos. What is that? Those are really convincing. Now the only option is to run away. I'll hold him off, take the plane. I don't think so. Kronos destroy the plane! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what do we do? Can't believe I forgot my teleport device it gets very unstable when I'm teleporting this many people. I don't know where any of us are gonna end up. Let's meet at Graphite Lodge, okay? Oh my gosh, we're out of here! <gasps> What that just what just happened? After obtaining our first key, me and Quincy are able to safely get back to Graphite Lodge. Upon showing up though, Riff Raff comes in and takes Quincy straight to Route 5. Anyways, this is the progress so far of my adventure through Doodle World. This is where I'm gonna be taking a break and I'll see you all later. See ya.